No, he isn't taking a new contraption onto the variety stage. He's demonstrating the super light folding bike used by airborne troops. It's unfolded and fixed up in a few seconds. Let's have a look at it being manufactured. It's made by a famous firm that pioneered bicycles. And though it's only 20 pounds in weight, it's built like a gun. The machine was designed specially for use by the airborne arm. Hence, it can be folded into small space, reassembly is quick and easy, and like though it is, it's tough enough to be ridden over fields or any kind of rough ground. The men and women on this job appreciate the importance airborne troops will play in establishing the second front. Airborne soldiers get behind the enemy and can laugh at coastal defences. The airborne arm is going to have all the bikes it wants, including folding motorbikes. And here they are being made. The manufacturer had to design a machine weighing only 65 pounds, strong enough to stand the bump of a parachute drop, and sturdy enough to tackle the worst cross-country going. The machines are capable of carrying a total weight of man and equipment up to 300 pounds. They have a maximum speed of 35 miles an hour. They're able to climb bad surface hills. The engine is a two-stroke. It may look like a toy, but it's a thoroughly practical job. No tools are necessary to rig the motorcycle up. Well, this is the first glimpse we've had of airborne equipment in manufacture. Wouldn't you just love one of them for yourself? I should. Well, who knows? Perhaps when we finally finish with the Axis, we shall find ourselves doing this sort of thing on Sunday afternoon.